Hi guys, this is Jason Zak here from Nathaniel School of Music. In this bass guitar lesson, we are basically going to talk about groove, how to groove and pretty much just using four notes. So the notes I have for you in this lesson would basically be the root of a scale, the major second, the minor third, because we all like our minors and our perfect fourth. Right? So just four consecutive scale notes. So let's say you're on the key of E. It's going to end up being E, F sharp, G, A. If you're on the key of C, it's going to be C, D, E flat, F. If you're on the key of D, it's going to be D, E, F, G. Now you could play this anywhere, even on the key of G. G, A, B flat, C. You could also go G, A, B flat, C, C, D, E flat, F. So basically four consecutive notes. Uh, I just like uh, one, two, minor, three, and perfect four, at least for this lesson. There'll, there'll be a lot more lessons on our channel, which you can check out, right? So what I'm going to do with these four notes is to just see how we can establish something musical by creating a groove and focusing on the groove elements and by watching this video you're definitely going to be able to understand time a lot better I hope and also understand the concept of groove what does it mean to get a guy to dance in, in, in simple words right so there's not going to be too much of drums it's just more of a applied theory lesson where I'm going to count a few things so you could get a book and pa paper out and um, a lot of our notes would be on our Patreon page so you can supplement this lesson and pretty much most of the lessons which we do on our YouTube channel on our Patreon page and it'll be great if you can consider subscribing to our channel hitting that bell icon for regular notifications and uh, also we teach bass as a regular course at our music school as part of our six month semester music method. It's now a virtual course. You can learn it online from the comfort of your home or you can come to our studio and learn, right? So let's get cracking with the lesson, guys. So if you take, let's just take E as a start. So I'm just gonna go E, F sharp, G, A, E. Now the first thing I want you to do is play these notes and count but one, two, three, four. Let's assume that it's uh, four crotchets, four quarter notes. So one, two, three, four. And if you're having a struggle to play A here, you could perhaps do E, F sharp, G, A. You could play A with an open A string. E, F sharp, G, A. E, F sharp, G, A. And it kind of sounds good with A, B, C, D as well or D, E, F, G. You just want to make sure that your notes are not ringing. Don't play it like E, F sharp, G, A. Like you don't want to ring your E string with the open A string. So that's the only challenge of playing open string. So then you'd want to play A with your pinky and so on. Or if you feel this range is too much, then you could always play it higher. You could go E, F sharp, G, E, F sharp, G, A. You could also go to a next string. But then we all like that low E or that low A. Anyway, so you have E, F sharp, G, A. So first let's count this out, okay? In whichever way you're playing it, let's just play E, F sharp, G, A and count it out. First thing we'll do is just assume it's on four beats per bar, four by four, and just say one, two, three, four, like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now in your mind, if your mind is not thinking this already, this is what ideally a bass player needs to do even though you're just playing this one you want to ask yourself how much is the beat being divided by in most cases the beat is going to be divided by something right so uh, let's start with the basic assumption that the beat is being divided by two so when you play this stuff you're thinking of another beat or what we call a sub beat which is inside the main beat package so e f sharp g a so that's one 
two and three and four. So that's the quaver one and two and and four and one and two and three and four. So ta you could also imagine a groove around that. So if your head is moving now like this, well, your head could also move slower like this. But if your head is moving like this, then what you're playing on the bass is slower than the actual pulse. So if the pulse was this, then yes, you are playing on the pulse. You are playing quarter notes. crotchets but if the if your head movement is like this then you're not really playing uh, crotchets you're playing minims you're playing half notes on the bass 1 2 3 4 1 2 so i am going to assume that the speed of my music is 1 2 3 4 so 1 and 2 and 3 now you have this and going on right it's dividing the beat into two equal units what can you do in that equal unit the first thing you can do is maybe double up your groove double each note from bum and i always like to play with dynamics so you could maybe do one note choppier and the second note or the next note longer the groove a lot better i think just repetition so another thing you can do with these notes is to move them along your new time grid and the time grid has now presented us with the and with an additional division of the beat so it's going to be 1 and 2 and 3 so you have that opportunity to space or place your notes not only at the 1 2 3 4 but also 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 so what did i do here i've moved that f sharp to the end of the 1 where it was normally at the on of the 2 1 and 2 but instead of that 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 3 and 4 and 1 so i'm not repeating anything I'm playing every note once. Two and three and four. One and two and three. I think this grooves a lot better. Two and three and four and one and two and. Okay, let's try and displace another one. Maybe the G. I'm just calling it displacement. I'm moving the note where it normally occurs or occurred at the one, and I've moved it now before the. Where it was. So one and two. Ba, 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 um, what's the next one we can move earlier? The last note, A, E, F sharp, G, boom, 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 boom. I like that. Okay, so what what were my options again? Ba 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 ba. One. Then I moved G down, uh, down. One and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two and. Now at this stage you can continue to count or you can not count. You can just feel it. If you can imagine a drum groove while you play, that will be very helpful as a bass player because we tend to react instinctively with the drums so it's good to have something like a ghost drummer with you beside you if you will while you play g is displaced it's gone before the beat now 
Now the A. And you see, I'm fooling around at the end because I have so much more space. Because ultimately to groove, you're making more space for yourself to place your notes. When we did not have space, that's where we were not dividing the beat. So in this case, we are dividing. We are dividing by two, which is giving us a lot of space really, right? Why didn't we revise that again? Displacing F before one. Now G will be displaced to the end of the two. E, F sharp, G. Now what about G? G will be displaced to the end of the two. There we go. And then we have the A which is going to be displaced to the end of the three. And now we have A, which is going to be displaced to the end of the three. E, F sharp, G, A, E, F sharp. There we have it. So you have all these displacements which are happening b before the beat. Now I didn't displace E because E... If you displace it before, it will go to the forehand of the previous bar. So I didn't want to confuse you in that aspect. So we've just displaced the second note F sharp, the third note G and the fourth note A. Now what we could do is we can move it later. We can delay the onset of the note. So that's where you can even start by delaying the E to the end of the one. It was normally at the one. Now you can displace it or move it onward or later in time. To the end of the one. So that, what will that sound like? One and two. You can also do like a nice percussive noise at the one if you like to give people the sense of the one or it's just fun to play percussive things on the bass in any case. So one, two, boom. Boom, boom. one and two, three, four, uh, one and two and three and four and one and two and three. okay. And one and two. You can also make that F sharp not at the on of the two, but at the 2.5. Let's make it longer, uh, later. One and two and three and four. A lot of permutations, right? Boom, boom, boom. This is how you build your groove. Because you are aware of time. F sharp at the 2.5. Or two and a half or two and. Hand of the two. Now we'll do, what's the third note? G. One and two and bump. Slightly tricky. What do we do about the G? You can, it was normally at the three. So you can do that at the 3.5 or the three and of the bar. Slightly tricky to visualize all this. So I would suggest to write it down. You could also consider my notes, which are waiting for you on Patreon. Okay, and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. So another thing I like to do when I'm not playing on the three is to actually like choke the sound. Like don't have anything at the three. One and two and choke. One and two and choke. And choke meaning don't play. Like mute it. You have to mute your notes. Okay. And finally we have our A. Where can we do that? Move the A to the end of the four. Earlier it was the end of the three. You moved it before. Now it's going to go to the end of the four. Boom, 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 two and three and four. Yeah. Boom, boom. Enjoying this. What if you combine the earlier displacement of A, which was at the end of the three, with now displacing it at the end of the four? of the three and you can do all sorts of displacement combos like you don't have to only displace one note you can displace like um, and two and three and four and 
three. And see, I've displaced all the three, F sharp, G and A, and very groovy, I think. Same four notes, E, F sharp, G, A. I'm just toggling between playing the A here with my pinky or playing it with the open A, which I tend to do quite often. So, bah, 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 bah. everything's at the ends except the first E, no? Now let's do something like and two and three and four and now I've moved everything to the right by an and except the first note to put things into context. Right, so you have you have this perspective now. Hopefully, with these four notes, E, F sharp, G, A, or any four notes, really, I just took that to make it a lesson and to, to make you practice with something concrete. So, play around with it and initially don't fool around. Like, don't, you, you don't want to, like, just play randomly, you know, and I'm actually doing this without a drum track. So, you can do this with a metronome, you can do this with your foot. Try to get the ands naturalized inside you, okay? So, that is very important. You have to feel your time. And a great way to feel time is to first know and acknowledge your subdivisions. The first one we looked at in this lecture is the and, where you divide by two. Now, the and, mind you, can be played straight. One and two and three and four and one. Or that could be swung. So that's the next feel, playing it in the swing. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba one and two and three and four and one. So nothing changes except that division is not even. It's not dun, 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 dun. It's not exactly straight, right? Bum, bum. It's swung. Very common with blues and some rock. Same thing, you can swing it and start doing some displacements. <laughs> what did I do? One and two and three and four. So I displaced F sharp and G preceded it. I went before one and two and three and four. One and two and three. I like this vibe for some reason. You can try whatever works for you. Oh, bah, bah. It's now creating some space at the end. So you can do like a lick, a little lick there to, to kind of do a, make a statement. Keep quiet. Every alternate time. Stop. There we go. So that was swing. So it's sort of like eighth notes, but you just swing it instead of going three and four and one and two and three. You're going. Da, 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 da. Right? Now, if you go further inside the beat, let's say you want to access the triplets or the semi-quavers, the 16th notes, which divide by four. Triplets tend to divide by three, as it is in, mentioned in the word triplet. What you could do is, yeah, you displace the same notes, but now you have two more displacement points. You have the on of the beat in the case of a triplet, and then you have two sub beats because it's tuck it to 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 one and a two and a three and a as some people call it the tunk at 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 the triple it triple it triple it so tunk at the tunk at the tunk at the tunk at one and a two and a three so now you have one and a so one and a two and 
so this f sharp came in at the end of the triplet division one and a two and a three and a four and everything else is on but it just creates that nice folkish indian vibe actually i i think so triple it pom pom chpam chtip chpam pom chpam then then we can do something like maybe more displacements tum chpum tum pom pom chpum tum pom pom chpum one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a or you could do the us here and there one and one and a do it the down one and a two and a three and bam one and a two and a three and down bam to pop pom to bam bow bam to pop pom to bam bow one and a two and a three e mm. and a two in down two. stuff like that once you're in the triplet environment you know the world is your oyster as people say so moving forward the last thing i want to talk about is 16th notes which you would expect going from nothing which is the pulse then you go to the quaver which is dividing by 2 then the triplet which is dividing by 3 and lastly the semi quaver or the 16th note which is dividing the pulse or your head movement or your foot movement by 4 so how do we feel that one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three there we go tak de mi tak jun tak de mi tak jun one e and a two e so get that those four syllables into your brain or into your nervous system as you play even though you're not playing those you're feeling it one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a three and a two There we go. You can now access those divisions. One e and can even mute it and play. One e. So your groove becomes a lot more sophisticated. One. Stuff like that. Move the F sharp all the way to the E of the ones. So you're making making it very close to that first E. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and and I'm moving the G at the E of the two. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three. E and, a and the last one A for everyone's benefit, listeners' pleasure is on the beat. So your groove starts getting sicker by the amount of times you divide the beat if you think about it. So the general mantra if you want to call it for grooving is divide the beat more but play less continue to play less. Like if you do all the 16th notes it won't sound too bad but but it's not grooving it's just doing like a build up you're just going to maybe the next release. before that you go like a 16 note so i wouldn't call that very groovy but if you do you're just taking the same four notes but placing them depending on how you're dividing the beat right so i would encourage you to start with four notes the ones which i am demonstrating e f sharp g a you could play them wherever you wish that way whichever way really really yeah and you could end up starting playing them with crotchets move your head feel the pulse try to use a metronome if that helps you or don't use your foot or your head or your body's own natural pulse and then divide by two quavers okay then we swing it then triplets but you're not necessarily needing to play all of these you're just finding those same four notes or repositioning them in the triplet grid repositioning them in the quaver grid repositioning them in the semi quaver grid and maybe not doing something like this 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 you know 1 and you don't want to put all of them like together you want to have some breathing room so divide more play less have some space between the notes 
people are going to definitely dance right guys i hope you found the lesson useful again this is jason zack from nathaniel school of music and if you're watching this video and you want something structured and you want to learn the bass guitar you can you can head over to nathanielschool.com fill up a form and just mention that you'd want to learn the bass or pretty much any instrument and most of what we teach in our school will involve the instrument primarily the technique related to the instrument and then all the related music theory which you need to play music or we also try to train your ear with a lot of exercises we work a lot on your rhythm your reading so it's a great 6 month foundation semester if that's your level or if you already play if you've been playing for a while you can always move forward to our more intermediate and advanced programs right guys cheers this is jason zack catch you soon